Yeah, my name is Wesley White. Uh, I am from Texas, um, and I was diagnosed with a, an aggressive form of AML leukemia with FLT3. This is my wife, April. In America, I was given a lot of traditional treatments and a lot of chemotherapy that ended up not working and failing and had no really no other options and um, April had heard a few success stories of people that had come here um, a Fort Worth fireman and we're from Fort Worth and um, we just took a leap of faith you know and denied what the doctor said and decided to come here and was the best thing we decided to do. Oh, extremely professional, um, kind, um, knowledgeable, and um, I felt like I was definitely at the right place the first day I walked in here. Um, yeah, I mean, my only complaint are the IVs all the time, but it's, you get over it, um, but Compared, I told her, you know, compared to the treatments in America where you're cooped up in the room for 30, 40, 50 days and worrying every day, what are you going to get and what's going to happen, it's pretty scary there. But when I came here day two, it was kind of fun. I looked yeah. forward to it. I knew I wasn't going to get a weird biopsy or some stabbing or something odd. And I really looked forward to the treatments. and. Um, like I said, it was really bad off when I started, and by the end of the week, week two, I was already feeling much better, you know. So, yeah, treatments are night and day different than what you get in America. Sure, uh, honestly, you know, just like everybody from Texas, I, I mean, I grew up going to the border towns there my whole life, but then after 9-11, everything got bad. Um, and obviously the whole family is like, oh no, and it got the typical backlash, you're gonna get caught by cartel, she's gonna, be, and I'm like, that, that's absurd, we just are coming here to get help. And uh, actually our first trip uh, to Calumax was really great, and then we just started discovering the city, and. And the people were kind and friendly and great restaurants and uh, a really amazing food and people and it just changed our whole outcome and look, you know, it was totally different than when we first got here and that light nervousness, you know. Oh man, uh, like I said, I had an aggressive form of AML leukemia and uh, the deal there is uh, stem cell, chemo, 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 stem cell transplant, or you're not going to make it. And um, I tried that and uh, actually hurt my body and my bone marrow and told them I was coming here. And they said, no, 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 it's a total joke. You, they don't know what they're doing. They're, you're, you have to either go home and die or you know, try MD Anderson for trials, and, and I thought that was ridiculous, and um, I had no hope, and then I came here, and uh, immediately the first conversation before even coming here with Dr. Carrillo and Balstizo, um they immediately gave me hope and said, oh yeah, we, we can fix you, and uh, the confidence that I got from them was an assurance, and like I told you before, but definitely by week three, I came here really sick. And most patients get to do outpatients, but I was stuck here in inpatient for two months and never really leaving the room and very sick. My body wasn't producing red blood cells, white blood cells or anything to heal my body. I had no immune system. And by week three, I was already defying what they said there. And through the treatments that you guys gave me, 
Uh, I was producing a, a little bit of red blood cells. I was making a little bit of immune system. I was getting better. I was feeling normal again. And um, been here three months. Uh, it's a nor you know a long time, but uh, I'm actually walking out of here cancer free and defied everything they said was going to happen. I'm on producing normal immune system, red blood cells now, and hair's growing back, and it's been a total miracle. Uh, have that leap of faith, do your research. Um, there's a lot of immunity centers all over the world, um, but this is by far, if it can fix me after top stem cell doctors in America said there was no fixing me, I mean, I, you can do it. And uh, grab your loved ones, quit your job, whatever you need to do, and just take that leap of faith and uh, come here and, and do it, try it out, and um, believe, you know. Be open-minded and do not take do not take the last words of the doctor as concrete. Yeah. There's more options. Block the negativity, have a consultation, call the doctors here and just speak with them. And uh, that was enough for me. So, yeah.